Welcome to the next lesson where we talk about some of the words in mailing a package. Uh, well, this video lesson will be a little shorter. We're just going to talk about destination, arrival, and put it on. But this word destination is the final place or point you want to go or where you want to be. It's that final place. I'll review that again. The final place or point you want to go where you want to be. That's a destination. Arrival. That's when you get to your destination. So that's um, when you arrive. So if you're flying an airplane, they'll say uh, arrivals. And when you leave, it's not in this one. It'll be in the next uh, lesson on travel words. But departures is another word. So when your package departs or leaves to go to its destination, it will arrive. And that's this one. Let's look at this destination. Before you mail a package, you need to know what is your destination country or city. So in the last video, we said, uh, let's choose China, or uh, I think I chose Argentina. Uh, but whatever country you need to send something to, you need to know that uh, before you fill out your customs form. And Here's an important note. Your shipping costs will increase based on what country you select. Um, I think after typing in different countries, plan about 60 USD dollars or more for packages that weigh less than four pounds. So even if your package is lower than less than less than four pounds, um, you're going to need to pay more United States dollar. It's going to be a lot more. If it's, if it's five pounds or more, it's going to be more than $60. If it's under four pounds, you're around this price. However, each country is different, so you will always need to use the postage calculator to see or estimate about how much you will need to spend before you go to the post office. So you're not surprised and be like, oh, that's $200. I was only planning $100 to send. So make sure you, you look at your weight, dimensions, and price before going to the post office. So when your package arrives, you might get this question uh, from the person helping you. He said, I'm sending this. Maybe he's sending it a, a gift for his grandson. I, I don't know. Or somebody he wants to send this gift to. This guy will ask this question in English. And I want you to listen and repeat. What day would you like your package to arrive? What day would you like your package to arrive? And to arrive means to appear somewhere, to show up is a phrasal verb we will use. And arrival is a noun. It's the place or destination. Like I mentioned earlier, departures and arrivals. So when you go to an airport, you'll see this sign, arrivals, meaning the place you're going. So to arrive, to appear somewhere. So what day would you like your package to arrive? So that's arrive and destination. The next word we will focus on in this video lesson is put it on. And most of the time, that means to wear something. I'm going to put on my glasses. I will put on my sweater to wear something. It also has another definition, to set or place something on another thing to set or place something on another thing. So, oh, where do you want me to put my keys? Oh, just put them on the table. We might say something like this. So here's some examples. You can listen and repeat. You put on a warm scarf for the cool fall day. She put on a warm scarf for the cool fall day. So she's wearing something. So in this video, put on is to wear something. Cool means it can mean fashionable, neat, fun, great, exciting, or nice. It has many meanings in that way. Cool. Oh, that's so cool. Or this new iPhone is so cool, some people might say. But cool also means the temperature, cold in temperature, Celsius or Fahrenheit. So in this sentence, the way I used cool is the temperature definition. 
She put on a warm scarf for the cool fall day. She looks cool, fashionable in the sweater in this sentence because it's it's a fall day. It, this is my adjective. It's a cool fall day. What kind of day? A cool fall day. It's, it's a colder temperature. I think in Spanish, uh, the word cool would come after day, but in English, my adjective comes before. Cool fall day. Okay. The next word uh, example for put on is the one that we use in mailing packages. Can I put this on the counter for it to go out? Can I put this on the counter for it to go out? And that means to set or place something. So when you put something on the counter, it goes out. And put on is to set, to lay or put something down, to put something. Would you like to pay by cash or card today? That's another one. Actually, let's go back and let's practice this. I'll slow down. Listen and repeat. Can I put this on the counter for it to go out? Good practice. Moving on with more practice with put it on. Would you like to pay by cash or card today? And if you're here, sometimes we say this one. I'd like to put it on my card, thanks. And to set it on or put it on your card means you're putting the information or you're putting the, the money. The money is getting put on the card. So it's interesting. I don't, I don't set something on top of my card, but I put the idea of money that's on my card on it. So they'll say, would you like to pay by cash or card? And sometimes American English speakers will say, I'd, I'd like, meaning I would. I'd like to put it on my card. Thanks. Meaning to charge the card, to have the money come out of your account electronically. So that's put it on. And it is the amount you need to pay, the amount of money. Put it on my card. Put what on your card? The money. The money that you need to pay. Okay? So that's it. And that's it for put it on. In the next video, we'll talk about pick up and drop off. I'll see you in the next video lesson.